not without controversy, of course, that World Cup particularly was a difficult World Cup for you to have to manage. But I guess, I think we're 20 years on from it now. I wonder if you sort of think back to it and think, that could have been different. I should have done that differently. Actually, it was a, it was a series of circumstances that were beyond your control. It's, that's impossible, isn't it? Yeah. It's impossible. So whatever whatever happened, and and looking back on it, in in, in how it did happen, what, what transpired, I wouldn't, I'd do exactly the same again. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about no me and Roy. It, it, it's, it is twenty years on, mm. yeah. and it, it's, 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 you know, one of the biggest World Cup stories. But I just get a little bit sick of it, and, and of course, whatever I say and I say on here, there'll be something said somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did a huge big article, apparently twenty years on, and the journalists all around me would I like to comment on it? No. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I won't, because I hear stories from it now that actually didn't happen. And it, it had a it had a, a, a great effect on, on my life at the time. Mm. And and still does, it's still there. So who knows what all of us would have done if if we could go back. But we can't. Yeah. So I look at it and I think, no, I did what I did, yeah. stand by what I did, and you know, it is that's its history. Just go back briefly yeah. to Japan. Me and Jeff Stelling went to watch England and the Republic of Ireland. It was amazing, Mick. You did brilliant. And I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. Because it irks the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. the, the, the lads don't get recognised for that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, they're a different class. When you, when you, you know, think about them, Gary Kelly or McAteer and Breeny, Richard Dunn, Steve Staunton, Ian Hart, it was Matty Holland and Kins, Kinsella, Quinney or Duffer and Robbie Keane up front. We had a, we had a good side. You see all the uh, unity of that team as well. When we get to the playing Holland in the playoffs, uh, to get to the playoffs, we've got 10 men. Gary Kelly's got sent off. You know, I'm saying at half time, look, lads, we're, we're at, Nil nil here, we're doing well. It's got to be, you know, cool heads, passionate hearts. I think you got it the wrong way around, Kells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool hearts, passionate heads, I think it was. And we go down to 10 men and we beat them. <clears throat> yeah. You know, with it with Louis Van Haal and a great team of Dutch players. So it was it, it that team was brilliant. Yeah. You know, if, if you ask me who was my best team, that's the team. And of course, Roy played in those and that 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 game was a special game and he played very well in it, you know, and, and contributed to it. It's kind of sad how it all ended, but it did, it ended the way it did. You've always said what an amazing experience even being oh, out there was. It was just so good. There was Republic of Ireland fans everywhere. When we yeah. played Germany in the game, you know, they, they were the only one, we were the only team that scored against them. Robbie scored. Yeah. That's me doing, you've seen it on television, it's me doing my dad dancing afterwards. I didn't know he's gone in, he was like, you know, <laughs> he's in. I thought he'd hit the crossbar and gone round the back. Yeah. And of course, he hit the post and gone in the net and come round the other side. So that was, yeah, spontaneous celebration. All in, yeah. it was brilliant. Yeah. Can't and, be a bit of that, does he? He should be remembered for that, and it's not. It's remembered because I mean, Roy. <laughs>